In a few years, many people won't remember what happened in February 2011. Yes, the Packers won the Super Bowl in 2011, and Trevor Bain won the Daytona 500, but what Miss Don Bazemore will remember is her leadership role changing with the Faith Equine Rescue in Lakeland, Florida. In February 2011, Miss Bazemore became the head of the rescue and took over all the responsibilities that includes. The rescue houses horses who need a new home because of poor treatment or their owners no longer being able to care for them. The rescue gives the horses food, shelter, and love until they can find their forever home. Miss Bazemore relies on donations and volunteers to supply all the things the rescue needs. Let's meet Mrs. Bazemore now. So Miss Bazemore, where do the horses come from? We work with our local sheriff's department. They have an ag agricultural unit that obtains horses through whether it be neglect or um, some horses they find wandering the streets. We also work with our local veterinarians and also we have people that call in on a daily basis of horses that they see that they feel are starving or neglected and need new homes. What kind of abuse do you see and what are these? We see horses that are starved, beaten, um, never handled, horses that are never groomed. These are tails that came off of two of our rescues. Um, these horses have never been groomed. They have wire fencing embedded in their tails. Horses use these as their natural weapons to get flies off their back. So why, the reason they have a tail is they swat the flies off of them. Can you imagine being swatted by that? That's, that would hurt. That would hurt. <laughs> they wouldn't be good. <laughs> why does Justice have a mask? Justice is missing an eye. She was found wandering the streets of Frostproof and nobody ever claimed her. But she has what's called a popped eye where she's had some sort of injury to her eye and her eye is now flat. It doesn't have the fluid in it anymore. So we keep the mask on to protect her eye from the bugs. A big help to Miss Baysmore and the rescue are her family members. Her husband, son, and daughter volunteer at the rescue and can almost daily be seen out riding horses feeding them and preparing the animals for their new homes. Many local businesses help supply items for the needs of the animals. These places include Lay's Feed in Lakeland and Ace Barn in Lithia. A local veterinarian, Dr. Britt from Plant City can also be found at the scene as needed. Once the horses have completed medical evaluations and are nursed back to health as needed, the rescue begins training them. Let's meet Miss Sherry now. What's the biggest challenge in assessing a rescue? Well, the hardest part is deciding what the level of abuse the horses had. Some of them had been beaten, some have been starved, and that all leads to different um, problems that the horse will have. Some will be more food aggressive, some will have, they're waiting for you to hit them. Sometimes, like this guy, he hasn't had anything happen to him. He's been, you know, pretty well handled. He was just not fed properly. How long does it take for the horses to be ready for adoption? Sometimes when the horses come in, if they're really thin and, and undernourished, it can take three to six months to get them up to weight, get them medically assessed before we can even offer one for adoption. At that point, then we'll be able to start riding it and assessing his training ability. How would you assess JJ? When a horse comes into the rescue, the basic first initial estimate that we do on them is, I want to see, can I touch his face? You know, is he shy at all around that? Um, is he afraid of a rope? then we know if they've been abused. A lot of times we can swing a rope around, you can see he's not reacting at all. So this horse has not had abuse. So this makes it easier. If we have a horse that's been abused, we're gonna go back to a basic program where we start getting them used to being handled. We wanna see, can we reach up, go down, can we handle his feet? We can pick his feet up. That way we know we can get his feet trimmed, we can do proper maintenance on the horse. If we can't pick up his feet again, we go back to basic training. Um, we're going to assess his weight. We're going to see can he be saddled, can he be handled, does he lead. If I pick up his rope and I want him to lead with me, you know, does he have leading basics? Come on. Does he have stopping basics? Can I back him up? You know, when I ask him to give off my body, does he do any of this? So this one's really easy because he's responding. That was very interesting. There is a lot more that goes into getting a horse ready for adoption than I realized. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're very welcome. It was my pleasure. After being trained by Miss Jerry, the horses are put up for adoption. 
The rescue carefully looks at applications from prospective adopters and tries to match the adopter with the horse suited to their needs. One such family going through the adoption process is Shelby McLaughlin. We're at the SM Ranch. Now let's meet Shelby and DJ. Hello Shelby and DJ. How did you find DJ? When I started volunteering with the Faith Econ Rescue. He sure looks healthy. What is his story? Well, Faith Econ Rescue got a call from a lady who bought him off Craigslist. And whenever Faith Econ Rescue got there, he was all skin and bones with multiple wounds. What did Faith Equine Rescue do for him? Well, Faith Econ Rescue got a hold of him and had him for about two months, and they were able to fatten him up and take care of the wounds, and that's when my grandmother adopted him. He sure looks healthy today. Faith Equine Rescue sure does a tremendous job. Thank you for letting us come visit today. You're welcome. To date, the rescue has had 18 successful adoptions. Eli, Friday, Stormy, and Tana are four of them. Some horses still waiting to find their forever homes are Bebe, Destiny, JJ, Bella, and Marcus. If you're interested in adopting a horse, check out faithequinerescue.webs.com to see the horses and find out the adoption process. I think I'll take this one. Mom, huh? Can we get this one?